Hello, Taurus. Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. How are you, my bull gang? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you already. Thank you for all the ways you've been loving on this channel so, so much. I appreciate every click, every view, and getting to know you in the comments has been lovely. Thank you for your bookings as well. All right, we're starting a new week here. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's take a look at it, my friends. Let's take a look at it for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We're going to start off with the Wisdom of the Oracle. We'll go from there, see what comes up. I'm not asking the universe for anything specific. Just going to ask for, yeah, love. We've got something that's come out here, here and now. That's where we're at. Something is about to go off, Taurus. Um, uh, so we're just going to ask for, you know, whatever's going on in your pentacle world, in your love life, whatever is coming up for you. Um, we have here and now. I want to say that you're not quite past the midway point, but I feel like you are about to enter that midway point. We have card number 32. So I want to say that as you are in this place right now, some of you might be feeling in a little bit of lack. Where's mine, Elsie? <laughs> Where is it? You've been saying in readings for a long time. Where's mine? <laughs> Yeah, I get it. But it says here, um, the past and the future. And you can see this egg is just a little bit edged over to the past. And so I feel like for some of you, if you don't quit looking back there, whatever you, you're not making room for anything else. So when people keep saying, well, you keep saying in the readings, Elsie, that it's coming. Well, then maybe you need to look in the mirror. It's time for you to look in the mirror and figure out where you're at. Where are you at? Are you still holding on to the old energy? Because it's not me that makes energetic room for you. It's you that makes energetic room for you. All right, so you're not quite at the future. I do believe the here and now is telling me that that is about to happen. Coming up in the week ahead, you'll be sort of smack dab in the middle of the past and the future. And for those of you who have that tethered to the past, somebody that you're still thinking about, somebody you're still spying on on the internet, somebody that you can't let out of your energy, that's why nothing's coming in because you're not letting go of any energy. Well, lucky for you, we have a full moon in Gemini coming. You're going to be reassessing the heck out of your life. And uh, I feel like uh, you are going to be reassessing to see what it is that you need and what it is that you don't need, right? We've got time to go. Yeah. It's a realization. I feel I felt a bit of release as I put down the card of blessed because I feel like you're getting a better understanding in the week ahead about what's going on. We've got card number 22, which breaks down to a four. And I really do believe that you start to reassess as the full moon is, is, is you know, uh, coming crawling closer to us. It's on the 27th and we are uh, close to, oh, we're close to Thanksgiving. So if you're celebrating Thanksgiving this weekend, happy Thanksgiving to you uh, in the U.S. We had ours in Canada back in October, but thank you for the well wishes. Um, so we have blessed. And so I feel like you're going to be reassessing the home base. What's going on in your pentacle world? So two and two is four. Four is stability. Whatever gives you stability, you're going to start reassessing that because blessed is purple and pink, which tells me that you're going to be getting downloads. You're going to be realizing how blessed you are in this moment. Somebody here has decided to stop looking at the past, stop looking at the future, and realize that you're okay the way you are right now. If nothing ever were to change from this point, that you'll be okay. And um, the, the blessed card tells me that with the pink and the purple, the third eye is opening. You're getting downloads from the universe. That's the crown chakra. She is, in fact, wearing, wearing a crown, right? Uh, you're getting downloads from the universe telling you, look, it's time to look things over. And it's time to make decisions, make the cuts. That's what it's time to do. Uh, it's time to go, my friend. It's time to leave the old vibration and enter into the future. Enter into the new vibration, right? We have time to go and we have the here and now. You can see instead as this egg is not quite in the center of these two pillars here. And it is time to go. It's time to make your decision to break free from the past and move forward. Now, the past can have us in a in a in a chokehold or in a headlock for many reasons. Maybe we have a child we're not speaking with. Maybe there's been harsh times in the family. It is holiday times. Those things are all amplified during the holiday season, right? All of those things are amplified. I feel like it's time for you to make a decision to move into the future and let go of some energies. I don't care if it's family. I don't care if it's your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your best friend, or the one you think is your bestie. I don't care who it is that's holding you back. You have to 
start moving forward. And it, it comes with this. This is, the, this is the center of the reading. This is at the top of your mind. What you're going to be doing in the next few days is really looking around you at how blessed you are. And if you never receive that thing, you know, if it doesn't come for two or three years, you're okay. You're going to be fine. You're blessed anyway. Card number 45 is a nine, and it always reminds me of Virgo energy. It's like you're going over the details, right? You're going over the details, making changes, moving slowly toward the exit. I feel like as time is going by that you're that you are running toward the exit door. I think for some of you, um, this uh, full moon in Gemini and full moons are um, you know, the closing of cycles, right? It's you're letting things go. You're allowing things to leave your life. And I think what you're doing is you're leaving some sort of a vibration behind. Because right here, you're about to move forward. And I think that with all of these downloads and the realizations and the awareness that you'll be getting over the next uh, few days until the end of the month, I feel like this big awareness is coming to you. I'm already blessed. Those people, I don't have to beg them to be in my life. I don't care if, you know, if they're only coming at you because they want things, I feel like it's time to cut out whatever it is that you don't need. We have cleaned it up. There it is. <laughs> it's You, you got to clean up the situation, my friend. Or those people that um, that use you for money, those people that call you up to be the plus one at the wedding because, you know, they know you're going to say yes and they can just dump you afterwards. Or do you know what I mean? It's it's those things. It's time to start looking around you and cleaning it up. I think you're poised. Yeah, you're about to do it. And look, as you're poised to clean it up and let go of things that no longer serve you, in comes the yang. So whether you're the yang that's pushing your way in or the, yin, or the yin who's calling in the yang, I believe that you're about to come to the edge. And once you get rid of some of the old energies, that is the only time that you're going to be able to, um, to uh, receive the new energies. All right. So yeah, reader, stop talking about the old. Only talk about the new. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me how to do my job, first of all. Second of all... <laughs> It's not my energy I'm reading. It's your energy I'm reading. You're the one who stuck to the past. Not all of you, of course. Like there's lots of you who are not doing that because you know that we're here for solutions and not and not uh, to look at things that are going to repeat, right? I know that you know that. All right, here we go. Okay. We've got here and now. So there it is, right? This is Aquarius energy, but look, we're in swords energy. We're in Gemini energy. It is all about the reassessment, looking around you and finding out what you don't need and what you do need. Um, and I feel like what you're going to do is you're going to start cutting situations, jobs, people, whatever it is. You're going to start cutting out things that no longer serve you or make you feel in lack. Because it's your choice, right? It's your choice to be there. Uh, the King of Swords is the one to me who is the lawyer, the psychologist, the psychiatrist, the judge, the magistrate, the person who's really thinking it over before they answer, the one who's responding and not reacting, the one who is really thinking about it cerebrally before they make the cuts. But we cannot forget that the king also has a sword, right? The king has got the sword at the ready. I feel it's all about wisdom for you, but there are a lot of changes taking place. We see that there's an owl here. There are, uh, you're in a, in a space and time right now where I feel that you're going to be brave enough to cut out whatever is in the past. So um, I feel like uh, for a lot of you, you are going to be cutting out things that are in the past so you can move forward to the future. Because I think in the here and now, you're still tethered. Some of you, not all of you, are still a little bit tethered to the thing that's going on back there. Whether that's a, a family member or a relationship you can't, you can't bring to any sort of resolution. We have blessed. I don't think you really have to do a whole lot of anything except this. I'm going to be honest. I feel like what you need to do is you need to heal, take care of yourself. Maybe you're not necessarily reaching out to everybody. You're not chasing everybody to go out, do things, be places. I feel like you are in the four of swords. I feel like it's time for you to heal your heart, decide what you want, realize how blessed you are, get your stability. These are both fours. Get your stability in the pentacle world. But we are talking about... Um, the Four of Swords as well, right? We're talking about Gemini energy. So I feel like you're going to be using that Gemini energy. I think you're going to make really good use of this, this full moon in Gemini. I really do. 
And it's really interesting because it is a full um, beaver moon. And look, she's laying in this little nest here. But, you know, it, beavers are all about building their nest, right? And that's why they call it the beaver moon because, you know, busy is a beaver. That's that's a saying, right? It's a thing. Busy, a busy little beaver. And uh, that's what they're doing right now. They're preparing for the new year, preparing their homes for the cold, uh, preparing for the new year. I think you're doing the same thing. I think that's what you're doing, Taurus. We've got time to go. Yeah, you know what? The reason, the thing is this, is when you know when you know, right? If you're the person who is aware, you're the person who's been really working on yourself, staying in your lane, paying attention to you, you're the person who's engaged in self-mastery, I feel like you know what I'm about to say. And that is that it is time to go. You've outgrown the vibration. You've outgrown the vibration here. It's time to move that egg toward the future. You've outgrown whatever is going on back there. I feel like this week ahead for you, Taurus, may be a time where you're not really reaching out to people a whole lot. I think you're going to be in a lot of deep thought, um, maybe going over your finances, going over, you know, is this the place that I want to live? Is this the place I want to stay? Should I buy a house? Should I rent? I feel like you're you're going to be going through all of those things. And it's not going to be easy. I really do feel that there is. it's going to be hard for you to cut out some of the things that no longer serve you. Look, I know a lot of people who have let go of people that they love, but those people were not willing to go to the next vibration. They were not willing to change. And so when that happens, you just have to make the decisions that are best for you, Taurus. And it's not its not a happy time. It's not like you want to leave the vibration, but you know what? Not everybody's going to want to come to the new vibration because they've not prepared themselves. They haven't done all the hard work you've done. They haven't looked in the mirror. They haven't been into the self-mastery. They haven't been brave enough to look in the mirror and say, I got to change me. It has nothing to do with that person that is cheating on me. That person who's the daddy, baby daddy. That one who's the baby mama. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with you and how you are taking care of you. We have the five of wands. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I, I want to say that it's a long time coming here. It's a long time coming. I really do feel that I'm connecting with a Taurus who's really sort of beating themselves up about making some really hard cuts next week. Making some really, you know, looking at situations, relationships that you have with people who if they meet you on the street, they're like, oh my gosh, hello, big hugs, we should go for coffee. And then it's crickets for the next year. I feel like you're, you're just, you know, trimming things that need to be trimmed. That's what it feels like. And it's a long time coming. It's been a long while that you've put up with this slow moving people, not, not uh, meeting you in the middle, but you doing all the details, going over everything, moving really slow, stopping, getting off the horse. Should I get back on? And it feels like it's done nothing but put you right here. Yeah. You've put yourself in a place where you feel like your hands are tied or you're going to feel like a terrible, horrible, awful person. If you, if you cut out that toxic cousin or, you know, that, that person in your family who maybe has an addiction and you're the one that always helps them. Like, I feel like you're going to feel like a bad person for a while. But I really do believe that this is all parcel and part of what you're supposed to be doing under this full moon in Gemini. All right. Let's clarify a little bit. We have the King of Swords, who is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I really do feel that this is an energy that you're embodying. You could have air energy. And the truth of the matter is, is that this could be a person in your life. This could be a patriarch. This could be someone who is an older brother. This could be someone who's a masculine leaning energy. They could be a woman who has a masculine leaning energy. But this is, this is, uh, it could be a person, but understand it could be any sign that embodies this energy. Tell me about Taurus, please. And the King of Swords. It's almost like you're face to face with somebody and you gotta say something. Because this person, I think, is the one that keeps you tethered to the past. This person is the one who's in your head telling you, no, you can't do that. You can't let that person go. You've been with them for 10 years. What are you talking about? Look at that. Face to face, I said, I feel like there's going to be some sort of a conversation taking place, a bit of a showdown, if I'm being honest. 
It feels like you are matching energy or mirroring energy with someone because you're about to make some sort of a really big decision that is going to push you forward to the future. But in doing that, you've got to leave somebody behind. And for some of you, that'll be easier. Like Elsie, I know who, I'm who you're talking about right now. And for others of you, you're going to be like, oh, crap. It keeps coming up in a reading, Elsie. I know who you're talking about. We've got the Eight of Swords in the reverse. We've got the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're no longer... I feel like you're taking the higher ground, my friend. I feel like that's what you're doing. Uh, you know, when the King of Swords shows up, it's all about being honest and truthful and transparent. And we really have to have a really honest conversation, whether it hurts us or not. There's no cups present here. Whether it hurts us or not, we have to have an honest conversation of why this relationship is in lack. And I feel like you are mirroring somebody in their energy. Whatever they're giving you, you're giving back, Taurus, matching their energy. We have the Eight of Swords. Uh, I feel like for the longest time, you hung there and you didn't want to do it, right? We have the Eight of Swords over here. I feel like... I feel like for the longest time you hung around and didn't want to do it. It's like you tried to push it to the back of everything. Put it on the back burner. I'll deal with it later. I'll deal with it later. All of that, though, pushing everything to the back burner that you're trying to ignore and you don't want to deal with, unfortunately, accumulates to a tower, right? When the universe says it's time to go. Um, <clears throat> we have uh, the Seven of Wands. And so what tells me is that you're going to take the higher ground. You're going to be very honest, Taurus, but you are going to take the higher ground because I feel like what you're trying to do is protect your future. Um, I feel like what you're standing your ground on is that you're you're finally going to tell somebody exactly how you feel about the relationship that's between you and them and that they are in a place where they are stuck and that they're not able to move forward, but you want to move forward. I feel like it's a really tough conversation that's going to result in probably disappointment, a broken heart, uh, making you feel sad about something. Some of you are going to be confronting someone and you're going to be matching their energy. Or someone might confront you and you just might say, you need to back yourself up because I got something to say. All right. So I, I feel like after after you go through this energy, uh, which I feel is coming up uh, probably very soon because we are almost at the 24th, right? We've got another three days and then we're already in this in this heavy moon energy, the full moon energy. Tell me what's going on midweek. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Yeah. My friend, what it is, is you know your worth. You you know your worth. And I think you've known your worth for a long time, Taurus. Don't, don't get it twisted. I think you've known your worth for a long time. But I think you can no longer ignore it now, is what I'm thinking. You can no longer ignore that you have to go. We have the Empress and the Queen of Wands. You have to go do the things that are that you're passionate about. You have to go build that business, move out of state, move out of town, move out of province. You need to go towards the business that you want, the, the maybe the new job that you want. Um, but I feel like nobody's expecting you to because you're the person who is solid, right? You're the person who is solid. You move slowly. You, um, you're very honest and logical. You move very slowly at at something that you want and then the thing is is when you do make the decision boom there it is <laughs> when you make the decision to go you just go and you don't care what anyone else says and that's the energy of the queen of wands you know you've been hurt enough you've been carrying enough burdens uh, along this trip that you've decided you're going to free yourself and i feel like not only do you see your own worth here but i feel like we have another four right four, four, and four. So you might be seeing fours and it is all about stability, being on the right path. I feel like in the middle of the week, after you have this conversation, that's probably going to hurt you. You're probably going to have to let go of that person who won't let go of you, who's trying to keep you in their vibration. And I feel like you realize that you've just got to go. You've got to color outside the lines and take some risks. And I feel like these are some of the downloads that are coming in. And Taurus, like I said, I think you've always known you're, you are the Empress Taurus and Libra energy here. You've always known that you're the Empress Taurus. But I feel like there's a place right now where you are um, here getting the downloads and you're like uh, ready to go. 
time to go, right? It's like, I've worked hard on myself. And the thing is this, Taurus, is there's going to be people around you in your life who are too scared to work on themselves. They don't want to, they don't want anyone to hold up the mirror to them. And that's why you're going to have this hard conversation because the king of swords doesn't want it, doesn't want to hear um, the honesty. Like they value the honesty, but I feel that this particular king of swords has you mirroring them and now they're really going to see who they are and how they're stuck in their head and that they're not making a decision because they're, you know, what's actually driving it is fear. Somebody's standing their ground. I think you're finally out of your head and you're going to tell somebody what's up. And I don't think you're going to do it in a mean way, but I think you just need to be honest with somebody in your life who keeps hanging on to your energy. It is time to go because you, you're the one that's done all the work, Taurus. You're the one who's done all the work here. More forest, Taurus. Four swords. Again, we have uh, the justice and we have the lovers. You know what? I feel as though, like I was saying at the beginning, when you cut away the energy from the past, the people that are holding you back, whether it's a group of people, a soul tribe maybe, people who are not interested in bettering themselves, who are keeping themselves in the lower vibration of spending too much money partying, it could be that as well. And you've decided that you're moving forward and you're going to build a business, you're going to try and build your finances, you're going to try and build your self-esteem. I feel like letting go of that or cutting that away, look at this. It brings in, it brings in your wish fulfillment. It's because you made a decision. It brings in some sort of a love energy here. It brings in uh, the lovers, and so I feel like that your your soul room was too uh, was too was stuffed shoulder to shoulder is what I want to say. I've said this on the channel before, but I'll say it again. My my guide is Charlie, and Charlie always shows me the room is full of souls shoulder to shoulder they're all there they're all talking having fun and then somebody opens the door and a bunch of people slip out and you're grabbing at them don't go don't go but in order for them for you to have more room in the soul room you need to let some go you have to i feel like once you do you get this karmic justice i feel like you you heal yourself you continue to heal yourself and it's time to go but you haven't done this in haste You've thought about it. Four and five is nine. You've thought about it for a long time. That's hermit energy. All right. Tell me what's going on in the future here for Taurus. Yeah, I feel like an opportunity for the Ten of Cups is going to pop up. The thing is, is you've been scared of it all along because you didn't want to lose anything. You see this as a loss. Not everything you lose is a loss, Taurus. I think I did a reading on that. Not everything that you lose is a loss. And maybe at the time, at the very time that you're cutting it out, it looks like a loss. It feels like a loss. But I feel there's new love coming here. We've got the, the Page of Cups. And Make no mistake about it. This could be something to do with the patriarch. This could be something to do with someone in your family or a friendship. This doesn't have to do with love, but this does. This does has to do with love. But you finally let go of this energy of allowing people to dictate to you because the king of swords will do that, will will dictate to you, no, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. And you're like, no, nah, bro, I got to go. And I feel like it opens up a new love. And it goes straight from the Page of Cups to the Ten of Cups. We're going to talk about that in the extended. If you'd like to come there, we're going to talk about this lovers. We're going to talk about this brand new love that's coming in, the Ten of Cups. I feel that you're nervous to let go of all of this, but I think it, it ends up being in the right place, Taurus. I feel like once you go through this pain, and I feel like you've been holding back from doing this, you've been in indecision about doing this for a long while, but I feel like once you let go of some energies... You make room for new energies, and we'll talk about that in Extended if you want to be there. I'm going to go for now. Please look in the description if you're looking for the link. It's the first one in the description. I'm going to go for now. I'll be in Extended. Thank you, Taurus, for all the things that you do for this channel. Look at that. We're in Sagittarius season. It's go time. Love you guys. I'm out for now. Bye-bye.